Hey guys, it's Taylor, and today we're doing another bucket tutorial. And uh, before I want to get before I get into the bucket tutorial, I just want to let you guys know that I'm really sorry I haven't been uploading uh, over the past two weeks. I've been or a week and a half. I've been trying to upload, and YouTube has just been really glitchy for some reason. I have no idea why. There has been no reason for it, but uh, doesn't matter. I'm able to upload now again, and uh, so I'm doing another plugin tutorial. And this one we're gonna be oh, every time we're gonna be doing <laughs> Dungeon Builder. And uh, with this, this is a great plugin for a, a lot of role-playing RPG servers because basically you can make dungeons, customize them however you want. Make you can make these crazy dungeons. It's just a great plugin for RPG servers. It just it, it's amazing. So uh, I just when in the main screen, I just want to let you know that they have all the commands. Like they have a link to all the commands and uh, configuration options. But I'm going to go through that with you anyway. So uh, you're just going to go here to this link right here. And I'm going to give you a link in the description, of course, like always. And then you're just going to click download. And download again. And then you want using Google Chrome, click keep. And then you're going to open up your bucket folder. And then obviously, like always, in your plugins, put dungeon builder. Uh, well, I already have it in there, so I'm just going to, yeah, I have it right there. All right. And then uh, once you do that, you're going to just launch the server. Make sure everything works perfectly, or as not perfect. Well, yes, of course it's gonna be perfect because it's bucket Minecraft. But make sure there's no, er there aren't any errors. And uh, I still have multi, multi world, multiverse, but uh, doesn't matter. But that's basically everything. All right. So now once you do that, uh, let's do the config. Now you would expect it to be this. Oh wait. Oh, that's, that's the map. What am I talking about? You go into plugins, and then you'll see his. Actually, you won't even see Dungeon Soldier, because there's a config file right here. And oh, wait, wrong, wrong area. And uh, let me just delete this. Uh, all right. And I think this is set to dungeon. I th dungeons, something like that. That's what a default set to. Yeah. So uh, once you download this, basically. There isn't anything in the config, but if you go into the page right here, no, well, the main page for the plugin, you can go configuration, and there'll be all these options. And uh, I'm just going to go through them all, but I have them on my other screen, so I'm not showing them at the same time. Root folder. Basically, what this means is, as you can see, where all the dungeons are saved is this dungeons folder. And if you want that to be somewhere else, you can just change it to something else. Next one is load chunk size. I'm just going to copy paste from the uh, the website. So load chunk size 3,000. You're just going to leave that default 3,000. Well, actually, it's default set to 3,000 if you don't put it, anything in. But if you want something more, it just has something to do with uh, the size of the chunks when it first loads. So I mean, like if you want, if you have a good enough server and you can load faster, I think you can just increase this and it'll be and uh, the dungeons would load faster. Or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, respawn priority. This is a pretty big one. It took me a little bit to fi figure out. Uh, just delete the asterisks, and then you there are all the options you can put in. It are these. You can put in something like this. Isn't where you put them. You would put them right here. So highest, and you have to put it in capital, or else it won't work. But basically, highest just means that Dungeons has all priorities to respawning. High is like you know, it's just level of priority that they have to spawning but monitor is the one that's a little bit different basically it means that when you die in dungeon oh yeah all these have something to do with in dungeon so if it's like highest then uh, how, if you die in dungeon it's just going to teleport you back to the spawn of the dungeon but monitor is, my, is probably the the best one to use because when you die it just kicks you out of the dungeon because sometimes it glitches and it doesn't kick you out of the dungeon and you can't break blocks or anything because it thinks you're still in a dungeon so you just want to leave that to uh, monitor so it kicks you out when you die and then the next one is super perms um, I think this is something to do with like group manager and stuff so if you have if you're using those then just leave that to true and then uh, proximity checks this is a big one that really made me angry alright so you're gonna want this as true at least for me I leave it as true Basically, what this means is, if you have it as false, or just don't have anything at all, it's default set to false. Um, then, when some when you're making a dungeon and someone tries to walk near it, it'll just like throw them away, and they can't like go anywhere near dungeon. But if this is true, anyone can you know kind of help you edit your dungeon. And normally, 
if like someone shouldn't be there, I tell them to go to go away anyway. So just leave that to true, and then uh, you can really control things in game. And then uh, root folder is obviously already there. And then enable monsters. Now you might think you want this set to true, but you really want this set to false, or you don't want it set to anything because uh, if you just remove it, it's automatic set to false. Now, basically what this means is that random monsters will be able to spawn in your dungeon. Like, say it's dark, they'll be able to spawn in there. And you don't want them doing that because you can actually create cer certain spawn points that will spawn a certain amount of z uh, monsters and any type of monster you want. So you can just really take that off because you don't want random monsters just being able to spawn. And, uh, well, that's something else. That was for my uh, client. Wrong thing. All right, and uh, I think that's about it for the outside of game stuff. So now we're going to go in game and I'm going to teach you actually how to use the plugin in game and it, it's it's going to be great. All right guys, we're back in game now to ready to create our awesome new dungeon. So uh first thing we're going to do is well for me what I like to have as you can see it's a flat land and what I like to have is a plugin called Multiverse. If you don't know what that is, I have a video of it. It's actually the one I did right before this video. And what it what it is is where you can have multiple worlds in your server, which is really really awesome. It is a quite a bit um, RAM like it, like it needs quite a bit of RAM. So if you don't have if you're really like running one gigabyte of RAM, you probably shouldn't use it. But um, besides that, you you should be you should definitely use this and make one map. You can have one map have all the dungeons in one map, just being the regular map, which is what I like to have because it's it uh really helps a lot. But uh, right now I'm just gonna be using the Flatland map. So um yeah, basically what uh do you want to create dungeons obviously. So, slash create empty dungeon and the name and uh capitals do matter and of course it would be raining. I'll turn that off in a second. So capitals obviously matter when you create the dungeon. So if you do capital E and then uh for easy and then you want to delete it, you have to use a capital. So uh keep that in mind. So uh, create empty dungeon easy, and then you want to do the width, so how wide it's going to be from where you are. The length, so it's going to be 20 by 30, and the height, excuse me, it's going to be 20. So, voila, a dungeon has created. Now you can also, after that, you can change the block, you can like, oh, uh, sorry, lag, really bad lag, because I opened up my inventory. Wow, I'm sorry about that. Um, you're just going to want to delete this diamond block because uh, you'll see later but diamond blocks represent the ending of the dungeon and you don't really want just a random diamond block in the, in the middle of the dungeon so with that being done now we can actually create our dungeon now I'm not gonna actually record this because you obviously don't want to watch it but I'm just gonna create like a basic dungeon with uh, sandstone and stuff and I'm not using 1.2.4 right now because I do not like that I do not like 1.2.4 but uh, anyways I'm just gonna create a basic dungeon right now and then I'll be back soon, so see you guys then. Alright guys, I'm back, and I have my uh, basic dungeon laid out. That's that's just the basic. I don't know why I made it 20 blocks tall. I'm not even going to use that. But, you know, I'm just giving myself the extra room that I need. So, uh, you're going to want to go to the beginning, and basically, the first thing you're actually going to want to do is do slash save dungeon, because, oh, whoops, slash save dungeon, and then the name, of course. So, for me, it's easy. And then you'll wait, and then it'll say dungeon saved. And the reason for that is if you turn off your server now or something, and you come back, the dungeon will be gone. So you want to periodically save dungeon, or else, you know, it will not be good because you don't want your whole, you know, doing a whole ton of work on a dungeon and then coming back and empty. So uh, that happened to me so many times, and then I realized why. <laughs> but uh, you're definitely going to want to do that. And then another thing you're going to want to do is do toggle auto. Oh, yeah, and when you save it, you're going to want to make sure, like, everything is set to what it would be right before they start the dungeon so you want all all the doors closed all those kind of things and you can use redstone and stuff so you want to make sure everything's in its off state like whatever when they would start when you do the save so when you also want to do slash toggle auto load and the name of the dungeon and then true basically what this means is like because if i don't do this and i have all the dungeon doors open and then when someone new comes in they're going to come in and it's still going to be open so basically what it means is going to load back to wherever you saved it every single time now uh ugh. I don't know why my computer just randomly flips out for no reason. All right. So now we're going to do slash set dungeon start easy. And then this block will be where everyone comes to. So now we're going to do, we're going to go in here and then we're going to want to make like one zombie spawn here. So it's going to do add monster spawn. 
And then an alias for the name of the spawner. So just whatever you want the name of the spawner to be. So Z1's fine. It can be anything, literally. As long as it has a letter, I'm pretty sure. Or actually, uh, no, you don't need a letter. That was for a different plugin. Um, but yeah, it definitely needs to be have an alias. I'd suggest using a letter so you know what you're doing. And I use Z1 for Zombie 1, which is a pretty good idea. And then the type of monster is Zombie. And I'm pretty sure they have a list. And I'll give that a link of all the names, like what each monster would be typed as. So like Cave Spiders or a Cave, or like this. That's what a cave spider would be, so you have to like make sure you're typing it perfectly. And then uh, the name of the dungeon, so easy. And then how many time, how many you want to spawn. If you don't put anything here, it's just going to do one, which is fine for me now. So I'm just going to put up. Oh, I did some. It's add monster spawn. I probably typed it wrong. Z1 zombie. Easy. Okay. So now that a zombie is going to spawn right there. And then I'm going to want to add two right here. So add monster spawn Z2 zombie. You don't have to name it Z2. Just want to let you know, just to make sure you know. You don't need to name it Z2. That's just what I prefer to do it as. So Z2 zombie easy two, and then I want to put a skeleton right here. Slash add monster spawn uh, S1 skeleton uh, easy, and then one. Oh, you don't have to do anything if you're not gonna. If it's just gonna be one. Now, uh, at the end of the dungeon, you're gonna—I know you're gonna want to give some them your uh, chest of loot, obviously. And the reason would well, there there is like a way to make a loot, but it's quite confusing. There's other there are other plugins that provide good ways to give uh, people loot, and I will show that. Uh, I'll put that in the description. It's called Fat Loots. If you remember before, you probably didn't notice, but uh, when I was doing Camtasia and recording the website. I had another tab open for something called Fat Loose, and that's a great plugin for dungeon uh, chests and stuff. But I'll so I'll link that in the description, of course. But uh, now you're gonna want to do uh, the exit, so or like the end of the dungeon. So set dungeon exit location easy. So that's where it's gonna exit. Now I'm gonna if you do slash load dungeon easy, everything's gonna be loaded to where where you were before. And then, I think that's about it. Oh, okay, wait. Let me, yeah, okay. Slash set dungeon. The exit's still going to be here, but it, it might not work. Uh, so you're just going to want to do that and then resave it. Because uh, it has to be diamond block. For fat loots, of course, that'll be linked in the description. So now, we're going to go back here. And I think that's everything. I'm flat hacking, by the way. Well, it's not everything, of course, but uh, there's a lot more. So, okay, let me fin let me just. Okay, that redstone torch is gonna be useful. What the heck are you doing, skeleton? You know what? No. Kill all. Ha. All right. Um. Okay, good. Doesn't work. Perfect. All right. So, um. Don't don't mind me. I'm just you know, talking to myself. Just okay. So doesn't matter. Whatever. You're gonna want to set an exit destination. So when you leave the dungeon. Where are you gonna? Where are you going to go? So slash set dungeon exit destination, easy. And then uh, once you publish the dungeon, you see a redstone torch pop up wherever you set the thing. And uh, when I first got this, I had no idea that was gonna happen. So I would ha I had redstone torches because I placed them where a sign would be, and it would just remove the sign. So you have to be careful you place them. So I placed it here, obviously just from my crop, or at least the NPC's crop. But uh, yeah, you have to be careful you place those. And then now you're going to want to, I think that's about it for the in, uh, the basic dungeon things. So then you can also do, well, obviously you're going to want to publish the dungeon. Publish dungeon. Easy. Now there's going to be a torch. Torch, okay, there we go. And the redstone torch appeared. So now uh, let's uh, get this diamond sword. And let's uh, test out this dungeon. Of course I'm not going to fail. Let's uh, go back to survival, of course. Okay, and you just stand in the spot, and it'll see starting dungeon 54321. Now, the thing with this is, uh, you can actually set dungeon cooldowns, which is pretty cool. Uh, let me just... Uh, I think it's set dungeon... I, I should have done this, actually. You know what? I'll just go over this after the dungeon. So, uh... Yep, and one zombie. One dead zombie, of course. All the doors are closed. Uh-oh. No! 
and there should be two zombies there trying to ambush me but they were kind of like in the corner doing a little something something i don't want to know what they were doing honestly um and then you get your fat loot loot from there and then wah, and it sends you out amazing now you can do set dungeon cool down easy and i think it's zero 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 or one zero so now the cooldown is one minute oh okay no 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 i'm sorry that was for fat loots that's how you do fat loots it's set dungeon cooldown and then how many seconds so you're gonna want like 60 seconds obviously for one minute oh whoops cut set dungeon cooldown easy 60 so now uh, the dungeon cooldown. So after you get out, you have to wait 60 seconds to re to do the dungeon, and that's pretty cool for like harder dungeons that like boss dungeons. Also, you don't want them being able to actually just keep doing the dungeon over and over to get like tons of exp. Oh, that's she. That's set dungeon exp. I think that's what it is. Easy, and then how much experience? So I'm just gonna do like five. Oh, okay. It's not set dungeon experience. Uh, one second. Let me die by the slime. I mean, kill the slime. Haha. -ha. Oh, I knew slime just come back out. Alright. Um, ah! Okay, that's a lot of slimes. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, slimes. Alright. That's the one bad thing about Flatlands, but that doesn't matter. That's not the point of this video. Um, Alright, so now, set set dungeon reward. I think that's how you do it. And then, you're gonna do like 10. Okay, yeah. That's how you can set dungeon rewards so when they leave the dungeon they get an item. But uh, I'm going to look up the experience and there's another there's a way you can make it so you can have multiple dungeons running at the same time. And I'll do that after I, after I just kill the slime. Okay, I'm going to go look those up really quick just to make sure I have them for you perfectly. And then I'm going to tell you guys. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and I got a few more commands for you guys. So uh, let's just do this. So it's set party size. This is, uh, you can have parties. There's a built in party system for the uh, dungeons plugin. And so you just do set party size and then the name of the dungeon, obviously. And then I'm going to want one to two. Oh, set max party easy one, two. Oh, I would completely forget. One second. Uh, I feel like an idiot now because I just did it and then I completely forgot how to do it. Set party size. But didn't I do that? Okay, whatever. Slash set party size one two okay oh whoops <sighs> set party size easy one two yeah you always have to remember to put the dungeon name in now um you can also do exp reward like set exp reward and then easy and then how much experience so five so now when they leave the dungeon they'll get five experience in this slime kill all. Okay, now we're going to want to duplicate dungeons so we can have more than one dungeon. And uh, it's quite simple, actually. So this is our dungeon that we just created. It's in here. Uh, let me just change my game mode. If you don't believe me, it's right there. And uh, okay, let me just put that bedrock back, bedrock back. I don't want that uh, just floating. All right, so uh, we have our, our dungeon. And now we want to duplicate it to make multiple so they can have multiple running because we have a huge server of 200 people that all want to do the same dungeon. So what you can do is slash create dungeon template and then the dungeon template name or the dungeon, the actual dungeon name, so easy. And then what you want to name the template, easy. So now we go wherever we, wherever we think the middle will be, which I think goes right here and do slash create dungeon from template and then the template name so easy with the template name and then new dungeon name so easy too perfect and then and then now we have two of the same exact dungeon and we can actually put them in the same spot uh... here it is this is our house right here that we chose to <laughs> Uh, that's not going to be good. It's going to publish. Okay, well, it's going to be difficult. Slash pub. Ugh, it's going to teleport me, isn't it? Okay, wait. You can unpublish dungeon, so. Unpublish dungeon. Easy. 
Okay, there we go. Now, I can publish them both, slash publish, dungeon, easy. And now, publish, dungeon, uh, easy too. Now, I think they might have the same, uh, aspect, not aspect, like the same stats like auto load and all those things. I don't know for a fact you're going to have to test it out, but that's basically, those are the basics of this amazing plugin. And as you can see, this could be really useful for a server. And I did, really did a terrible job making dungeons. I mean, you can make dungeons 10 times better, obviously. This was just me making that in 10 minutes, not even, just so I can show you guys and get this video out for you. But um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this plugin. If you did, just put a like something anything anything helps just to show that people actually care but uh more plugins plugin tutorials coming obviously and now that i can upload and also i'm going to be playing skyrim too because i love skyrim and i and i uh, actually recorded it and then i think skyrim was the reason why my youtube broke i don't know i was uploading skyrim and it crashed or it was just youtube broke i have no idea but it doesn't matter we're going to be uploading skyrim and well i'm going to be recording skyrim i mean and I'm going to be uploading that and this right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a great plugin. Definitely get this plugin. And then the fat loots will help too. So thanks guys for watching.